In this episode, we will talk about the Walker catalytic converters and their essential role in the containment and transformation of the dangerous, harmful gases produced by the combustion engines of our automobiles before they go out to the atmosphere. Walker, with 63 manufacturing plants distributed throughout the world and eight engineering technical centers, is one of the largest emission control manufacturers, both for the original equipment and the aftermarket. There are three types of catalysts, depending on the type of chemical reactions that take place inside their monolith. The first type is called two-way catalysts. Oxidation catalysts, oxycat, diesel oxidization catalyst, DOC, or diesel catalysts. This type of catalyst has platinum, or in some cases palladium, as precious metals. The two-way catalysts, as their name suggests, perform two main chemical reactions. This type of catalytic converter transforms carbon monoxide and unburned hydrocarbon molecules into carbon dioxide and water. Two-way catalysts are installed in vehicles with lean mixture, like diesel, closed to exhaust manifold, to ensure they are working all the time over the activation temperature of 270 degrees Celsius. The diesel oxycat placed upstream the diesel particle filter units play a key role during the regeneration process of the diesel particle filters. The second type of catalysts are the so-called three-way catalytic converters with lambda probe, three-way closed loop catalysts or catalytic converters for gasoline engines. In this type of catalysts, three chemical reactions occur. The carbon monoxide and the unburned hydrocarbons are transformed into carbon dioxide and water in the presence of oxygen, that is with lean air-to-fuel mixtures in presence of platinum or palladium as precious metals. On the other hand, the nitrogen oxides are transformed into molecular nitrogen and carbon dioxide in the presence of carbon monoxide. To make this happen, the air-to-fuel mixture should remain rich and the rhodium should be present at the monolith as the catalyst metal. These types of catalysts are called three-way catalysts with lambda probe because these systems require a lambda probe to be able to change the amount of air in the mixture of the air-fuel mixture from lean to rich mixtures several times per second to be able to catalyze the gases correctly. This is the kind of catalyst that we will find in gasoline vehicles, which is why they are also called catalytic converters for gasoline engines. Finally, the third type are three-way open-loop catalytic converters, or also three-way catalytic converters with air intake, or old catalytic converters for American vehicles. This type of catalyst is older and practically not seen in Europe now because its use was restricted in the original equipment to some old American vehicles. These catalysts work in engines that work with rich air-fuel mixtures. So its monolith is divided into two parts. The first part is precious metal rhodium, so the nitrogen oxides will be transformed into the carbon dioxide and molecular nitrogen. The carbon monoxide not used for the reduction reactions and the unburned hydrocarbons pass to the second monolith that is impregnated with platinum and or palladium, but since the required mixture is lean and the incoming gases have a rich mixture, these catalysts have a small metallic tube that is inserted in the middle of the two catalyst monoliths and pumps air from a pump that works while the engine is running. This injection of air injects oxygen into the mixture, transforming it into lean so that platinum and palladium can fulfill their role of catalyzing carbon monoxide and unburnt hydrocarbons in carbon dioxide and water. Due to its constitution of double monolite with different precious metals in each, they only have one way of assembly, so they usually carry an arrow engraved with the text flow in the metal body shell. This arrow indicates the direction of the flow of gases inside. They also have a very characteristic metal tube that is where the air was pumped into the catalyst. 
The aging process of a catalytic converter occurs because the precious metals inside the monolith in contact with the exhaust gases become converted with solid particles from the combustion process and little by little lose their contact with the exhaust gases and therefore their capacity to transform them. When the catalytic converter's monolith becomes dirty with these particles, the catalytic converter must be replaced with a new one as it cannot be cleaned with present conventional methods without damaging its interior. We are Garage Gurus. Join our community. Follow us on social media. Thanks for watching this video. The video description contains all the relevant links. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and be notified when we post new content. Also, check out our Garage Gurus online course catalog.